Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth beyond the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the royal battleground where the tides are turning and Buckingham Palace is firing back with a subtle yet powerful move that could be the final nail in the Meghan and Omid Scobie's proverbial coffin. Today we're diving deep into the latest royal drama that has the internet buzzing and it involves none other than Prince Edward and his alleged germophobia. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support and in case you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you guys waiting for hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press the bell icon perfect so let's get started so now omid scobie the man of the hour with his explosive book endgame claimed that a royal source spilled the beans on prince edward's supposed adversion to the common touch according to scobie edward is a massive germaphobe who famously avoids physical contact with a great unwashed well if you thought this was a mic drop moment for megan and scobie hold on tight because buckingham palace just unleashed a counter move that might leave you in shock. In a carefully orchestrated video released by the palace, we see the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Edward himself, visit the Wharf Studios in Barking in Dagenham, East London last week, the occasion to mark the decade of filmmaking. Now, what makes this visit so intriguing is that Prince Edward is not just mingling with the elite or exchanging pleasantries with fellow royals, he's shaking hands with the general public. Yes, you heard that right, the germaphobe prince is engaging in a full-blown handshake spree. This calculated move by Buckingham Palace is nothing short of a subtle rebuke to Scobie's claims. It's as if they're saying, oh, germaphobe? Watch as Prince Edward divides the narrative and dives into the sea of handshakes. It's a strategic strike, a royal mic drop that could have Meghan and Scobie reeling. Now let's revisit the chaos that Scobie's endgame unleashed upon the royals. The book has been a tempest, a storm of scandalous claims and accusations. The Dutch version in particular went nuclear by naming two senior royals allegedly involved in discussions about Prince Harry and Meghan's son Archie's skin color. The fallout was so intense that the Dutch edition was yanked off the shelves on release day. Scobie, in classic fashion, denied naming the royals and refused to apologize. However, in a surprising turn of events, he admitted to an early and unclear text making its way into the Netherlands. The Dutch publisher fired back, calling his explanation factually incorrect and highlighting the restriction from discussing the book's content. So here we are, caught in a crossfire of royal feuds. Buckingham Palace, with Prince Edward at the forefront, front is challenging the narrative painted by Scobie and Meghan. The handshake scene round the world is more than a mere greeting. It's a strategic response, a message that the royals won't sit idly as their names are dragged through the mud. As the saga continues, it remains to be seen how Meghan and Scobie will react to this royal counter move. Will they retreat, revise, or double down on their claims? One thing is certain, the royal chessboard is alive with intrigue and every move is a calculated play in this high stakes game. So what do you think about this news guys? How do you think Prince Harry's reported desire for a face-to-face -face meeting with King Charles will impact the ongoing tensions within the royal family. As always, these are my controversial opinions and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.